today I'm at a highly rated fish and chip shop called Original Fisheries which sell traditional fish and chips. It's located in Bramley in Leeds and it's got great reviews. So let's go in and check it out and get some fish and chips. Okay so I'm now back with the food and it smells delicious. I do have to say it's a great little fish and chip shop in there, really friendly staff. So let me tell you what I got. So I've got the standard fish and chips, which is six pounds and 10 pence. I got a battered sausage, which is two pound 20. I got a potato scallop at 50p, which is a great price too. And I got curry sauce and mushy peas at one pound 10 each. And I got a little bit of extra something this time. So I got a deep fried spam fritter, which is spam in the fish batter deep fried. I'm pretty excited to try that. So let's go in and try the food. I brought my own knife and fork and they still do things the traditional way here. They wrap it up in a bit of paper rather than put it in the box, which a lot of places do these days. I'm going to start off with a batter sausage and look at the size of this. This one is huge and you pay a great price for it as well. Let's go in for a taste of it. Mm. So the batter is really crispy and it's pretty thin here. It's a crispy thin batter. You've got a great tasting meaty sausage in the middle. I think it's time to dip this in some curry sauce. So the curry sauce does seem to be a little bit on the watery side. But let's try it and see. Mm. So that's lovely. There is a bit of a kick to this curry sauce. It is a little bit thinner than I would like it. But it still tastes delicious. Right, let's go in next for potato scallop. Mm. So again, the batter is crispy. It is a little bit of a thin one here, so it does flop around. So I couldn't pick it up like I could at the other places. But this still tastes delicious. You've got the crispy, thin batter on the outside and a nice fluffy potato on the inside. Let's dip this in some curry sauce. Here it goes. That is delicious. I think potato scallops have become a bit of a revelation to me because I've never really had these before I started making these videos. But they're becoming one of my favourite things. They're like chips but taken up to the next level. Mm. I think if you've never had a potato scallop before, you need to get one to try because they're going to change your life. Right, finally, let's move on to the spam fritter. And this thing is massive. Let's go for a bite of it. Mmm, so that Spam Fritter is delicious. It's meaty, salty, crispy, battery. It's delicious. Mmm, let's dip it in some curry sauce. Mmm, I don't think I can decide which is better. The Spam Fritter or the battered sausage, because they're both delicious. Right, let's go in for the fish and chips. Let's go in for a chip first and it looks like these are quite thin chips so usually fish and chip shop chips are these big thick ones but these look a little bit thinner than usual but let's go in for a taste of one here it goes mm. so these are some good chips here nice and soft on the inside potatoey floury great there's not much of a crisp on the outside but they do taste like chip shop chips i think you need to try these out with some mushy peas so the mushy peas looks like quite a thick one here which is quite nice because i do like the thicker mushy peas let's dip a chip into it and see how it tastes mm, they go together really well there's a nice pea flavor with the mushy peas and these are really thick it's kind of like instead of mashed potato but mashed peas which is great i like it right let's try some of the chips out with curry sauce Mm. The curry sauce has the kick to it, but it's a bit of a lighter tasting one here, which is quite delicate. Which I think means it'll go better with the fish because it won't overpower it. So now I think it's time, let's go in for the fish. 
Mmm, I just love the taste of fish and chips. They're just so delicious. You get the soft fish inside, the crispy batter, and the great salt and vinegar flavor. Right, let's dip some of the fish in the mushy peas. Mm. And now the curry sauce. Mm. Okay, yeah, so I think the fish works better with the curry sauce. Because as I said before, it's a lighter tasting curry sauce, so it doesn't overpower the fish. So they go together really well. Let's pour some of it over it. Mm. All right, let me finish this up and I'll give you my final thoughts. Okay, so what are my final thoughts on original fisheries? Well, I think this is a great little local fish and chip shop. The takeaways here are the batter here is really thin. So at some places you can get a really thick batter and sometimes it's not fried all the way through so it's a little bit stodgy in the middle. But you don't get that problem here because it's a thin crispy batter. The batter sausage was great and tasty, pretty similar to other places. Potato scallop as well, a little bit thinner than other places, but it is a little bit cheaper. The spam fritter was great. So I think all three of those items, if you've never tried those before, you should definitely give them a try next time you're at your local fish and chip shop. The fish and chips is lovely, and I think I've seen that they cook it in beef dripping here as well, so that gives it a nice flavour. The bat on the fish is really thin and crispy, and the fish on the inside, you can definitely taste the haddock flavour, which I got today. The chips are a little bit thinner than usual, but they do have the chip shop taste. And they do wrap everything in paper for you. So the fish and chips, your batter sausage, everything comes wrapped in paper the traditional way. So is this place worth a visit? I would say definitely yes. If you're nearby, give it a try. I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Okay, so if you like the video, click on the thumbs up icon below. I'm going to be doing more videos coming up. So if you want to come along for the journey, click on the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.